It does not matter how and through which organizations we have gathered here. It does not even matter what our individual beliefs are. Our audience is not even the Iranian government, for we do not recognize them as they are a terrorist dictatorship. The one and only reason that has brought us here is to address governments all over the world to use their power and influence to save an innocent human being. One who has been illegally jailed and tortured to death by the Iranian regime for simply posting his opinion on Facebook. We demand that all democratic governments who are in one way or another supporting the Iranian government should stop doing so. This regime has literally taken the people of a country hostage and tortures or, and tortures or issues capital punishment for expressing their opinions. The question is why? Has anybody been executed in your country for a Facebook post? Has anybody been tortured for such a crime? Why are you silent? Why is there no international consensus to condemn the trampling of basic human rights and force the Islamic Republic to stop this imprisonment and torture and to give people their basic right of freedom of speech. Do you know Sohel Arabi? Do you know his crime? Do you know why he has been sentenced to death? A sentence that was decreased to 12 years in jail on appeal. And why he is now in jail and during torture. So Hale is dying for a Facebook post. Please return Sohel to his young daughter by putting pressure on the Iranian regime in the international arena and by stopping support for the Iranian regime in the international arena. We have seen this before. Please don't let it happen to others. Also, happened to so what happened to others also happened to Sohail. Moshin Amir Aslani, the father of a two-year-old child, was executed for doubting the survival of Prophet Jonah in the stomach of a whale. And Reza Shir Mohammed Mohammadi, another atheist, was killed in prison with 30 knife stabs under the watch of the prison guards. Sutter Zahishti, a web, a web logger, was killed under the torture of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. If you claim that you respect human rights, the people of the Middle East, Iranians included, are also humans and should have the same basic rights. We demand so health freedom from you. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.